Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm gonna to show you how to permanently delete a document that's stored in Google Docs using the Google Docs mobile app for iOS. So this could be an iPhone or an iPad. Right now we're looking at my iPhone, my Google Docs app, it's open and you can, and the default view is all of the files that you have in there. So you can see I have a ton of files and here's the problem. You can see I have two versions of the same file right at the top here. Uh, it's a Library of Congress letter. It has a W next to it, so that means it's a Word document. And I want to get rid of them, uh, one of them. One of them I want to keep, the other one I want to get rid, so, rid of. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of the second one here by tapping on the three dots that are right next to the name. Library of Congress, PCN, Sample, and Close. So I'm going to tap the three dots, and it will just show you some different options that you have for it. You can look at Details and Activity. You can save it as a Google Docs file, make a copy. What I want is remove. You can see it. it's right at the, near the bottom of the page. It's important to notice to note that remove does not mean permanently deleting it. When you tap remove, it will put it in this temporary holding pen, and from there you can either permanently delete it or you can restore it if you made a mistake. So let's just remove it for now, and then we'll permanently delete it in a second. So I'm going to tap remove. So it's it's asking you know are you sure you want to do this? You can either cancel or tap remove. So I'm going to remove it. Remember. It's not deleting it, it's just moving it out of the active files that you have within your Google Docs account. So I'm gonna tap remove. All right, it just it says it's been removed. And I can still, right now, I could just tap undo there and uh, I could I could uh, restore it to its former glory. Now, you can see this is the all of the files that have been last opened by me. And now there's only one of those files, one of those Library of Congress uh, Word files at the very top there. So let's find out where it is in the, the uh, other one, the one that I removed, and let's delete it permanently. Tap the hamburger icon. That's the three uh, horizontal lines in the upper left corner. They call it a hamburger icon, I guess, because it looks kind of like a hamburger. It looks like three lines to me, but whatever. Tap that, and you'll see a whole bunch of different options here. You want the icon that says trash. Trash is basically all the files you've removed but you haven't deleted them permanently yet or restored them. The first one here is a Library of Congress PCN sample and close. That's the one that I just removed. Now I want to get rid of it forever. Tap the three dots that are right next to the title. And there's basically just a few options here. Details and activity, restore. So if I tap restore, that will put it back into the main index of files that I have in Google Docs and delete forever. I'm going to choose delete forever. Are you sure you want to do it? Now, this is a pretty important thing, and a lot of people assume, that, yeah, you know, I just want to get rid of it, and then they have second thoughts later on. So please be really sure that you want to do this before you press delete forever, because once you do that, you may not be able to restore it. In fact, you probably won't be able to, to restore it unless somebody else made a copy of it somewhere. So I just, I just deleted that forever. It's gone for good. For more tips on how to get the most out of Google Drive and Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms, Google Sites, I have it all in my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.